Well, hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. I'm Richard and this is Lap of the World. Cooler weather had descended on our home in East Tennessee, so we felt it was once again time to seek a little bit of a warmer climate. And we have done so, which is how you find us today, just south of Phoenix, Arizona, where we hope you will join us in exploring the Podium Club at Atessa. If you enjoy this look at the Phoenix area's newest road course, don't forget to like the video, leave a comment below, and consider subscribing. For some behind the scenes shots, you can also check out our Patreon via the link in the description. This will be something of a special edition track feature in that our visit to the Podium Club at Atessa happened as part of NS Expo 2022. NS Expo is the NSX Club of America's annual marquee event. It's hosted in a different city each year with Phoenix hosting this one and Atlanta scheduled to host the 2023 edition. If you have an NSX of any generation, I would encourage you to join the club and attend at least one NS Expo during your ownership. This year, more than 120 NSXs gathered in the Southwest with roughly 40 of those participating in the track event. Everything from first year NA1 coupes to an NA2 Zanardi edition, all the way to an NC1 Type S fresh off the production line turned laps of this effectively brand new road course. Located just west of Casa Grande, south of Phoenix, on the only plot in Arizona actually zoned specifically as a racetrack, the Atessa team broke ground on the Podium Club circuit in July of 2021 as the first of many phases of a much larger project. After five months of initial construction and paving, the green flag dropped on the track's first event near the end of that year. Since then, the build-out has continued, as have the events, with a number of clubs and sanctioning bodies hosting track days and races at this new circuit. Speaking of the circuit, let's get some of the stats on the table here. 2.3 miles, 15 turns, a 2,800 foot straight, with just enough elevation change to make things interesting. The circuit can be reconfigured in 18 different ways to accommodate simultaneous events or various lengths of a single track. The layout we drove used the maximum length available driven clockwise, although the track is also bi-directional so it can be run counterclockwise as well. Let's jump in the car now and head out to see what this all looks like from behind the wheel. All right, folks, so here we go for session one at the Podium Club. We're going clockwise which may be a little unusual, but they can run the track both directions, so don't be surprised if that's the case at your event, although knowing in advance would be great. There were apparently some technical challenges that led to us running this direction versus counterclockwise, which I think is more traditional. So what we're doing here, since none of us have been here before because this track has only existed for eight months, is uh, one of the local members and instructors uh, in the, in, you go, although this is the advanced group, the, uh, one of the local members and instructors uh, was kind enough to come out with his uh, GR86 and lead us around for the first lap or so uh, just to familiarize ourselves and kind of connect what we may have seen on a video with reality. So that is very much appreciated, although this is a, uh, it seems like it's a track that'll be a, a, you know, fairly easy to pick up the basics of, but uh, I expect kind of knowing the turn in points from a local who's actually had some, uh, some number of laps here is going to be very helpful. Um, again, something to take advantage of if you go somewhere new, if you can follow somebody around who's been there before, then that will be a, uh, it's, it's less time you'll have to spend getting up to speed and more time you'll be able to spend having fun at speed. After a few laps behind our instructor friend up there, he decided to pick up the pace and I decided I was done sightseeing. So let's put the pedal down and talk through a clockwise lap of Podium Club. Turn one is a little bit tricky. You actually crest a brow into the braking zone, which impedes your sight lines. I was kind of braking after the car landed over the hump. Now you're gonna carry a lot of speed into turn one. You wanna be a little bit off the first apex, but all over the second one. So you're not uh, running out of room on the exit. That exit will lead you into one of the tighter turns on the track, a very late apex left-hander that combos into another late apex right-hander. You want to get this one right, as if you do so, you can start adding the power pretty early because it opens. I was a little bit early on my turn in there, but the exit was okay. A short shoot leads to another about 90 degree right, a little more than 90 degree right, which you're going to want to get correct here as it leads into a little dog leg and then to an actual 90 degree right that is fairly important because it leads onto a long straight. You wanna clip late here and then get on the power early and carry as much speed as you can down through here up towards turn seven. Turn seven is uh, pucker inducing. It is a very fast turn. You carry as much speed in here as you dare. Uh, I'm well off the apex just given that this is the first session. 
but uh, exit there and then you kind of want to align yourself with this curb after eight to set yourself up for the 910 complex. Use all the curb that you can there, exit to mid track and then straight line 11 breaking into 12 and then you're going to kind of give up 13 here. Uh, I carry probably a little too much speed in. You want to give that up a little bit to get the optimal exit through 14 that we just passed through here and onto this last short shoot. That leads you up to the last turn, a hairpin, which is an incredibly late turn in point to get the uh, best result here as uh, somebody is uh, now just showing off. But uh, that is a lap of the podium club in the clockwise direction. Our minute 53 in change there as usual. Competent, but not spectacular. So a lap of the Podium Club actually has a pretty good variety of turns, some tight, some pucker-inducingly fast, with quite a few subtle camber changes in there as well. It feels weird to talk about quote-unquote elevation change here, having just driven NYST and Pineview Run, both of which have deltas in the 100 plus foot range, but for being what most would call a flat track, the gentle crests and dips that they've engineered into the Podium Club circuit actually do factor in notably to the driving experience. Sometimes with camber change, other times impacting sight lines. No, you aren't going to catch air or feel like you're driving off a cliff, but you also can't take the vertical swings here totally for granted. Moving off the track itself, at the time of our visit, the Podium Club was still pretty light on infrastructure. Other than the key installations of the track itself, a pit wall and capacious paddock area, everything else was still fairly ad hoc with offices temporarily in modified shipping containers that double as observation decks. The also temporary classroom building is mercifully air conditioned, a definite necessity in the Valley of the Sun. Other shade though, as of our visit, came only courtesy of numerous portable canopies. With that said, the exciting part of the Podium Club's facility off the track isn't what's there currently, but what's coming. While we visited ostensibly fully developed grassroots tracks with about the same level of amenities, this facility has larger aspirations. Much larger. As I stated earlier, what you've been looking at from the air, courtesy of Travis, aka Track Addict on YouTube, is only phase one, or dare I say really more like phase 0.09, of six total planned phases of development. Phase two, we'll see an expansion of the already large paddock, the addition of a skid pad and dynamics area, some garages, and some other basic outbuildings. Phase three will add, among other things, some proper paddock structures, on-site lodging and medical facilities, spectator stands, and a clubhouse for members. Phase four is where things really start to get exciting though, as it will add another 2.25 miles of tarmac in the form of a south circuit that can be linked to the north circuit to make what will be one of the longest racetracks in North America at over four and a half miles. And that's in addition to a karting track and racing academy campus during this phase. Phases five and six just add more of almost everything, including an off-road circuit, commercial and light industrial spaces, a gas station and member condos and residences. The end game is a full service motorsports complex in a year round driving climate. And this all looks amazing, right? Well, in the inimitable words of so many pitch men on TV, but wait, there's more. This is effectively just a quarter of the larger Atessa project as a whole, as you can see in this rendering. Put it this way, if you're a track enthusiast or want to be in the industry, it might be a good time to get on board with a membership, submit a resume, or at least buy some property outside of Casa Grande while you can. Bringing things back to the present though, for our own part, it was a ton of fun to get out for an early look at the Podium Club. We really look forward to watching the project develop from afar with the hopes that we'll be able to come back in a few years and drive a whopping four and a half miles of Arizona awesomeness. Thanks to the team at the Podium Club and the NS Expo 2022 Organizing Committee for making our visit a fun one. If you're interested in following the track's future developments or if you're interested in becoming a member of the Podium Club, we've left links in the description. If you've enjoyed this look at Arizona's newest motorsports facility, please remember to like the video, leave a comment if we've missed anything, and consider subscribing. For some behind the scenes content from Podium Club, check out our Patreon via the link in the description. And again, thanks for watching. I'm Richard, this is Lap of the World, and we'll see you in the next video, if not at the track.